The issue of Brian Armstrong's combative approach with the SEC is not going to go well for him. Uh, It's going to be one of those things that did not age well. When it comes to the financial institution and the SEC, um, it's cooperation. It's not combative fighting approach. Um, Because here's the thing, right? When it comes to the financial institution, the U.S. government, the SEC, don't play around. Uh, In other words, they're your daddy. So in other areas, you know, in other areas of capitalism, this this obviously this, um, you know, winner takes all approach, this combative spirit does you very well. But when it comes to um, taking power back, Right from the government, uh, that's not gonna do. That's not gonna do you well. And uh, unfortunately, Brian Armstrong is going to lose. Um, he either there's, there's there's two scenarios, two scenarios. He either runs out of money because SEC is just gonna keep suing him until he runs out of money, uh, or uh, he somehow takes it all the way to the end to Supreme Court only to lose. So um, Brian Armstrong. Register your shit coins like Ethereum with the SEC as securities. Uh, now I recommend, uh, or um, keep wasting your time. Keep wasting your time. Keep wasting your money um, until you lose. Until you lose. So, Brian Armstrong, you are fighting a losing battle. You are just—I don't want to say it, but you're dumb. You are an idiot. Brian Armstrong, stop masquerading your fight against the SEC as a fight for the people. You're not fighting for the people. You're fighting for your own company, for the survival of your own company, for yourself. And your fight is just simply doing more and more harm to the people. So stop lying to yourself. You're not doing us a service. We're not playing games here. This is financial institution. You're fighting the old heads, the establishment. And you're not going to win. This is not a fight that you win. Unfortunately, Brian Armstrong, stop supporting shit coins like Ethereum on your platform. That's all there that's all there is to this. Right? The fact that you support all these shit coins, Ethereum and and all the fuck all the shit coins that, that are on Ethereum, is the reason why people don't believe in crypto anymore. You support scam coins, man. Come on, Brian Armstrong. Wake up. Shame on you for not supporting XTC, the real Ethereum killer. Shame on you, Brian Armstrong. You know that XTC will kill Ethereum. XTC is the real Ethereum killer. But 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 you, you won't accept it in your heart. So you so you don't listen on your platform. Shame on you. Stop stop fighting, man. Just for once in your life. Do something good for crypto. Like, seriously, Brian Armstrong, like, you are really giving crypto a bad name, okay? And, um, yeah, I hope, you know, not only do I hope you lose, you're gonna lose. You know, I don't need to pray to anything. I don't need to pray to the Lord above for you to lose. You're gonna lose. You're fighting the U.S. government. Good luck. And rest in peace, Coinbase, because unregulated exchanges like you and Binance are gonna say, Bye-bye. Because the U.S. government is going to bring in regulated exchanges. Oh, this entire crypto space will be regulated once and for all. And shit coins like Ethereum and all these other trash will be replaced by XDC, the real Ethereum killer. XDC will kill Ethereum. It has the lowest gas fees in the world and instant transaction time. So, Brian Armstrong, like I said, you're fighting a losing battle. Good luck to not only your failing endeavors, but also your failing company, Coinbase. See ya.